you've started your website and you're wanting it to generate new clients for you, but then nothing. You'll hear people talk about SEO, SERP, traffic and improving those so that you can get some clients and it all goes over your head. Hi, I'm Nikki from Automate Now, simplifying software and social media for small businesses. I'm starting a series of videos on SEO for small businesses, on what you need to know. In this first video, we'll go through an overview. And at the end, I'll show you a quick website that can do a basic SEO audit for free. So why are we doing this in the first place? You need people that are searching to find your website, to click through and then hopefully contact you for your products or for your services. And that's what it's all about, being up the top of the list. Why is the top or the first 10 so important? Well, you can see from this graph from Advanced Web Rankings that out of 100 searches, about 31 of the people will click on the first place one, but only one will click if you're down at position 10 or further down the list. That's 30 times more traffic to your site. So getting the top position makes a difference to your prospecting. Let's talk about some acronyms and words that get used. The first one, SEO, means Search Engine Optimization. In other words, getting your website at the top of the list in a search engine like Google, Bing or Yahoo, or as far up as you can get. Google has about 76% of the market in May 2019, so it's the one to focus on. Each search engine has a lot of factors that they use to determine what rank and what ranking order it'll give those links. Now, Google has more than 200 factors. Some we know, some are secret, and some are worked out by AI. And so it's going to change over time, which also means your position changes over time. You might be position three this month and position 10 next month. So keep an eye on it. Other acronyms you might see. SERP, Search Engine Results Page. So that just means the page that is returned when someone searches for a phrase. CTR, now CTR is the click-through rate. That means they actually click on your link and go to your page. I mentioned it earlier. Obviously, the more clicks you get, the better. It is a ratio of percentage. So if someone says a CTR of three, that means 3% of people will see that search and will click through. Keywords. Now, these are basically words or phrases that people use in the search engines. To improve your ranking, there are three areas that you can focus on. The first one is technical work on your website. Now, I'm not going to go into that one too much. I suggest you really leave that bit to your consultants. Secondly, applying some SEO techniques to your content. And you can do a lot on this. Thirdly, a really important one that we know makes a big difference in Google, and that is backlinks. Now, backlinks are links from someone else's site to your site. And this is one that a non-technical person can really work on because it is all about getting relationships. In the next videos in this series, I'll go into how to apply some of these SEO techniques and how to think about your content for blogs and products with SEO in mind by doing keyword and competitor research and methods to get backlinks in place. So you're starting into this process and as always, you need to know what your starting point is and take note of these so you can track them over time and see improvement. The first thing 
is to pick a couple of words or phrases that you think your typical customer would search for to find your business. For example, a bakery might put buy bread or bakery or sweet bakery and then go into Google and put each in and find out which page your site shows on. You might be going through many pages and after the first three I just note that it was on page three plus. Hopefully this will get better. Now try to have a couple of phrases in mind and include one that makes it more local. Um, so include your suburb or near me at the end. Then set up a monthly task in your calendar to repeat this and track your changes. At this point I'll note that the search engines crawl through all the new pages and index them for all this searching and sometimes this can take from one day to ten days. So changes you make need to be checked after about two weeks. They might have taken effect before that but you know by that date at least they should be in effect. At the start of the video I mentioned a site to help with SEO audits. So to help with your starting point on optimizing your site then I suggest this link which allows you to get a report on one website a day and it will point out what you have correct and what you need to improve. So then you have some items you can either focus on yourself or you can get a consultant to review and then after they've done the work you can get the report again to confirm that there has been an improvement as well as checking your rankings again on those keywords that you're tracking. Thanks for watching the video. Please like or share it and subscribe to make sure you get future tips.